Welcome back to The Witcher 3 Wildton. I'm pretty sure it's part 19 now. Yeah, that's pretty weird for me to say because um, I think on The Witcher 2 we only got up to part 18. Like, as in, um, we finished the whole game, but it only took 18 parts. And I'm pretty sure with The Witcher 2, most of the parts were only half an hour, apart from the first part and maybe the end part. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but yeah, we, we just, you know, this is showing just how much bigger The Witcher 3 is. I mean, we're, we're only like a just starting Novigrad really we haven't really done much we've we've uh, done the whole Korean thing and a bit of Triss but other than that nothing so you know the Witcher 3 is a very very big game guys but uh no so what are we gonna do today I think I'm gonna start by reading Dandelion's Planner uh well we'll do that in a minute and then I want to find this Arrakis Venom today because I feel like this is this has been going on long enough apparently there is some north of Oxenfurt I'm pretty sure but I will probably discover that at some point and somebody in the comments mentioned that there was some south of Crookwright Bog so I thought I'd have a little look there maybe but to begin with I think I'll just read Dandelion's Planner hey get this at least going and uh, we'll see how it goes I decided to go onto the street for this because um, Zoltan's spitting was starting to get on my nerves <laughs> um, right so it should be a quest item right I always go past quest items so apparently someone said we could give the um, the crystal skull to Yennefer at some point in Skelliger. So I guess we'll give it to her then. I actually don't know where the Crystal Skull thing has gone. Um, unless I'm just being completely blind. Um, but we, I, I don't remember giving it to her. So I'm assuming I still have it. But no. So I'll read this planner. And then I'll, I'll try and have a look for the Crystal Skull after. Because I've I got no idea where that's gone. Um, where is it though? Ah, here we go. Dandelion's planner. So we have religion and life. And Dandelion's planner. So... Rosa Varatra, like a rose abashed of its crimson hue, fair Rosa would sink into humour's blue. She shunned her lessons in civility to swing her dwarf with agility. Oh, okay. Uh, a charming garden enclosed villa in Gildorf. Molly, though well she knows the touch of silk and lace, she shuns, she shuns not straw when gripped in lust's embrace. Gildorf Villa next to the Mog. Vespula, Though timid in looks, no adventure did skip her. My heart melts when she asks, ever had a big dipper? Uh, far corners, laundry near the mouth of the Pontar. Marabella, though her cries are divine when behind closed doors, standing on stage, her squawks are drowned by snores. The bits near Pauper's Square. Elial, a figure most rare, her nature jewel, look deep in her eyes or be made a fool. Well, that was interesting. I, I liked reading Dandelion's sex poems to you guys. I think that was a good bonding experience, to be honest. Um, I'm now inside a trough. Hang on. I'm trying to get on top of... Okay, it's not going to work. I don't know why. <laughs> um, so, it looks like talk to Zoltan. I guess we talked to Zoltan about the um, the people. Zoltan. Still here? Looking for something? Ah, just checking to see that everything's in place. Buggers made a hold something off for Ponin. Actually, glad you're still here. Wanted to ask you about someone. Molly, well, we'll go with all of them. Though well she knows the touch of silk and lace, she shuns not straw when gripped in lust's embrace. Molly, keeps things tidy for the Baroness Lavalette. A Baroness within reach and he settled for a chambermaid? Dandelion's not one to judge folk by their station. You know that. Like he says, in the alcove, we're all equals. Yeah. Guess a true poet observes life in all its aspects, examines it from all perspectives. Mara... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Marabella. Oh. If I didn't know him better, I'd say he was jealous about this Marabella. Oh, I doubt it. Former pupil. And <laughs> well, the tales he told me about her. Doubt I want to hear them. Probably better off not. Things between them took a turn for the strange at some point. Meaning? She had them wearing mummer's costumes. Took to calling them Christian. Referring to herself as Anastasia. Huh. Truly perverse. She did a kind of half of it. Called him a stallion once. That's the fool took it as a compliment. Till she pulled a bit in the reins into her cupboard. Ho <laughs> ho! Poor bastard fled out the window. <laughs> Vespula? Ves Vespula. I think it's Vespula, right? Or Ves Vespula. I don't know. Vespula. Is Vespula. Yeah. rings a bell. She threw his knickers out the window. That's her. 
hollered something about him being a scoundrel with a voice like a consumptive pheasant. That's <laughs> all. Sure. Threw flower pots at him. Guess soul flames never die. <laughs> Rosa Valatra? I think, was she in the books? Was she chasing him once? Oh, I haven't read them in a little, quite a well, maybe like a year now. Can't remember. I don't know. Maybe. Like a rose abashed of its crimson hue, fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. She shunned her lessons in civility to swing her dwarf with agility. Dwarf. Never suspected he'd be so humble. <laughs> Dwarfs what Rosa Varatre named her Guhir. Well chosen, eh? All right. But Varatra? Her dad happened to be the Nilfgaardian ambassador? Yes. You know him? Wouldn't say that. Had a brief conversation with him at the palace in Vizima. Well, then you've a good notion of the kind of bloke he is. Commissioned Dandelion to tutor Rosa and her sister in the art of rhetoric. But we Rosa preferred swordplay. How dare she reject the great bard in favor of a common swordmaster? More than one, it seems. Week on week, we get fresh gossip about her thrashing another instructor. So bad he resigns. Word has it her dad's now looking to hire our next victim. I mean, instructor. Eliel, you know, I about Vespula, I was she she was the one that hit Dandelion in the head with a frying pan, right? And I think this was when they were looking for Dudu, I'm pretty sure. You, you know, they were they, they were in that market in the books. You guys that might not have read the books might not have a clue what the hell I'm on about, but I'm I don't know, I I think that's what happened, right? They were like they they were with that guy, um Dainty was it, and they were looking for Dudu. I, I don't know, something like that, right? We'll we'll ask about the last person. A figure most rare, her nature dual. Look deep in her eyes or be made a fool. Well, well. Seems fascinated with this one. Uh, not without reason. Never been much for elven women myself, but this one's exceptional. They say Francesca Finderbeard be jealous. You want to take this one, then? Nah, you can have her. Why? You see, elven beauty is like a young Beauclair wine. Whereas I prefer vodka, straight up. God, right, okay. Well, know about all I wanted to know. Thanks for your help. Well, it's time to find Dandelion's um, various girlfriends. We'll we'll try our best. Sorry, I keep on adjusting the microphone because I'm I'm sort of not sure where I should sit with it. Um, <laughs> I tell you what, I actually want to do quickly. I would I um I did this before the episode, um, but I sorted out some of my Gwent decks just because I wanted to do more than just Northern Realms when I do play, and I would like to buy some more Gwent cards, but I'm. I'm pretty sure I've bought any of the ones that I can. I also wanted to sell some things. That was another thing that I wanted to do because I'm carrying so much crap. But I will sell them to an armor and all the rest. I'll I'll try and get it for each person. What is happening here? Mistaking me for someone else. You're the only one here's made a mistake. Now stamp up some crowds, quick. Leave him alone. And who might you be? Temple Guard undercover. Um, try concerned citizen. At least I tried. I'm just gonna say this. Call me an admirer of law and order. Made a mistake coming to this town, then. You're making the mistake. Leave him alone. And if we don't? I'll have to convince you. If you don't, I'll have to kick your faces in. <laughs> Cheer that, lads. Well, there's only one other guy there. Oh wait, no, there's not. Hang on. Oh my god, that was a that would have literally been death. I would. Uh, I'd actually like to play a Witcher where, you know, that would actually mean death or at least some sort of injury. That'd be quite fun. Who's that dude over there just watching? Okay, saved his life. Go home, merchant. Try not to come around here anymore. I will. I, I mean, I won't. I, I mean, both, yes. Thank you, sir. Okay, that was unexpected, to be completely honest. Um, bring your children to Marabella's school for tots, where they will learn reading, writing, and respect for the gods. We charge no fees, but welcome donations from all. Your generosity is what keeps us going. Oh, Marabella, we're going to talk to her soon. 
Who's this guy? Okay. Can we go in here? No. I actually wanted to sell stuff to that merchant, but I guess we can't. We'll have to uh, find another one. I may as well pick up these swords and stuff while I'm here, because I guess I can just sell them. Right. Okay. Uh, well, we do actually still want to talk to a merchant, so I guess we can go to this one. I'm trying to remember where the um, armor armorer is, and I'm pretty sure it's down this direction, so we'll we'll give it a go. I absolutely love being in Novigrad. Like, I love being here. It's it's such a cool city. I feel kind of like, I don't know, it's like, almost like a little holiday thing, as opposed to before. Is this, that's the dwarf from before, right? Just making sure that it's not a different herbalist. I'm not even sure if I can buy Arrakis Venom at this point, to be honest. I, don't, I feel like it's not sold. I feel like it has to be something that I gather. So I'm uh, I'm going to try and find one of those this episode, hopefully. Because I feel like I want to make that Tawny Owl enhanced. Oh, this is the um, um, Putrid Grove guy. I think that is a different quest that we do want to do at some point. Of souls and dumplings. I think it's about here, right? The armorer? It's about there. I don't know. For some reason, it doesn't show up on the thing, but I'm just going to go with it and see what happens. I love all the clothing sort of being um, hung up outside the buildings and things. Very, very cool. There's Triss's poster again. Oh. Is that Roach? No, it looks very, very similar to Roach. Oh, there's a merchant there. Is that the same merchant from before? Looks very similar. Welcome. Welcome. Um, might not be. I don't want to sell stuff to this guy just yet. I feel like I want to go to the armorer to get rid of a lot of my armor and swords and stuff. Okay. Need something sharpened, reforged. Um, yeah. What do you have on offer? So I do still want to make the cat school gear at some point, but we'll see. I stored all my good swords. Um, this is not really all worth much, to be honest. Okay, he's got no money left. Maybe we could buy something from him. Has he got any Gwent cards? He's got oh, some saddlebags, some diagrams, nothing that we really need, and some crafting stuff. I guess we'll leave that. Don't really need any of that. Um, so we'll go to the merchant, sell the rest. I'm not too bothered about making a little bit less because I just rather would not carry it, because I feel like I'm going to start getting a lot of stuff soon. I want to be. I want to make sure I can pick up everything. You know what I mean? And then sell that. I've only got this left, anyway. There you go. And that, and that. And the gloves. Cool. We got... Oh, wait, wait, wait. What's this guy actually got? Because for the... Um, I tell you what, let's have, a, let's have a quick look at our alchemy. You know, guys, we got to do stuff like this every so often. We can't just be doing quests all the time. we got to... Continue with our witchery ways. Um, I'm just going to sort this out while I'm here. Um, there you go. Right, well, we made some stuff at least. What do we require for... We've got a lot of stuff that we can make for... Oh, enhanced dimerithium. That actually might be good. Enhanced moon dust would probably be pretty good. We do probably need some more herbs and stuff, to be honest. So, let's think. Enhanced Tawny Owl requires another Verbena and then an Arrakis Venom. I might just buy the Verbena now, if he has it, because then it means I don't have to mess about later on. I'm wondering if there's anything else. I kind of want to get, what is it, Superior Swallow, I guess? I don't know. Right, you, Merchant, have you got any Verbena? Let's have a look. I've forgotten what it looks like, to be honest, guys. Is it that? There you go. I'll just buy the one. Seems like a lot of money for one herb. So long. Okay, we got the Verbena. Now we just need Arrakis Venom. But, as I said, I'm going to talk to all the, um, the various Dandelions girls before uh, I do any of that. God, the city is very crowded there. I'm scared about what that'll do to the frame rate and the recording, because it's smooth for me. Like, one thing I don't think I've actually mentioned before is that what's confusing to me is it... It, basically, when I record, I get no lag at all. Like, no, none at all. But it's in the recording where you get lag spikes. Like, no, 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 that's actually not true. I get a few little tearing here and there, but sometimes in the recording, it lags when I haven't lagged in game at all. And I know I haven't, because I would have noticed it. Um, for example, sometimes during dialogue. And I think it's because the 
the software gets overloaded. I don't know, something like that. And it just causes it to lag a little bit. And I, there's no other software I can really use that's going to work for my purposes. Okay. I will get you every last copper. With interest. Give me a week, please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. Help! What you hollering for, stupid wench? What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? Close enough. Keep out of this, Greyhead. Not your concern. I'll pay what she- no, fuck that. Um, Vespita's got new protection, get out of here. I'm gonna say that. Oh, is that a good idea? Uh... Get out of here. Ah, uh, we'll go with that. Vespita's got someone else's protection now. Really? Who's that be? The King of Beggars? Mine. I know what happens if you say that, because I've said it every single time in the past, but I feel like I kind of want to say me. You know what I mean? I feel like I don't want to drop that guy in. <laughs> oh, fuck it, we'll go with me. Mine Why not? Offered her a better rate. All right. So let's see if you're a good bargain or just cheap shit. Let's go. Screw you, bandits and Holson Juniors men. I do not like you. You are very uncool. That's right. I feel like as soon as a witch uses a sign, you've got to just sort of give up at that point. You know what I mean? Like, you'd be like, okay, this guy knows magic. We've got some random spears and little poles we found on the ground. Oh my god, okay. Fun. Covered in blood, all of it. So much work for naught. No need to thank me. It was nothing. Sorry. Don't get me wrong, I'm grateful, but for everything I had, I just lost. You talk to you about Dan's iron. Relax, it'll come off. Yeah, we'll say that. Relax, it'll come out in the wash. Of course it will. Just gotta soak it in white vinegar, but that's not my point. Junior shan't forgive me. Either I'll close up shop myself, or he'll burn me down. Sorry, didn't think about that. A woman's lot. Men have their fun and we're stuck with a mess. Oh well, I suppose I must move to Oxenfurt. Professors need clean undergarments too. Oh, I know I could have just lied and said the King of Beggars, but I, I don't know. I just didn't, I really didn't want to lie. Don't know if you remember. We've met. I don't... Wait. Wait, I know you. You're that witcher I near clobbered with a vase when... Well... When you kicked Dandelion out, through the balcony. Actually, he's the reason I'm here. Know where he is? Probably out whoring, that horse pheasant, that lion scoundrel. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back, saying it was till death do we part this time. And no more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. It was the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. What has happened to her shoulders? <laughs> like despawned. <laughs> Can the lion ask you about other washerwomen? Not terribly subtle, even for him. Maybe he likes some sudsy. Ah, uh, maybe. But what did he ask about exactly? Oh, this and that, really. What's it like at the bathhouse? Have I got any friends there? What are their working hours? I don't know. Maybe he's looking to hire one for his tavern. Maybe I got all in a huff for no reason. What has happened to her shot? <laughs> all right, right. Give me a second, guys. I got I got a plan with her. Okay, so I, that didn't work. I think it's just an issue with Vespula, maybe. No, no idea what that is. This woman he was with in the harbour. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covia. Ha! <laughs> Horvia, more likely. Corset so tight her eyes were popping out her head. His too, come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. Right, well, it's been nice talking, Vespula. 
Listen, when I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean, tell him he's a two-faced snake, but it would be nice if he dropped by. Right, well, I don't know what the hell was up with her shoulders, but we'll just we'll just go with it. Laundry, okay. You know what? I'm I, I'm not too bothered. I mean, I, I I don't know. I think I was fine. So we know that Dandelion has been to see Vespula, and he has a, a a niece or something they were mentioning about with blonde hair, and obviously we, we I'm sure you guys know who that is. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Sorry, I always hear people talking. The Eternal Fire Priests are terrifying. Oh, this, this is... Oh, look at that! This city has got so much to it. I'm sorry, I just... I just love walking around this place and looking around and seeing stuff. There's a merchant down here. Let's have a quick look. Why not? Hello, merchant. The best stock in all Novigrad. No need to push. Enough for all comers. Uh, no one to push. Very good. Manners before trade, always. Oh, he's ready for some Gwent. Right, you know what? This is time. I'm going to open my coffee. I usually wait till my bit into the video. And you know what? I think it's time to do so when we play Gwent. But first of all, we might Let me see what he's look. got. Okay, he's got nothing. Alright, let's go. Um, we'll bet ten. Up for a few rounds of Gwent. Okay, so, as you can see, I pieced together an incredibly terrible Scoia'tael deck, which literally uses every single card I have, and even then, it, it just about hits the card limit. But the deck that I'm more happy about is my Nilfgaard deck, which is, it's not brilliant, but it's not terrible, you know? It's not terrible. So you know what? I might, I might just, I'm going to go for it. Oh, thank God. Okay, I, th I think I've lost, to be honest, guys. I only have one card. I've lost, I've lost. I, d I don't know, maybe this Nilf God deck isn't that good. I do have... I feel like that ability might be better, and I feel like I should remove the Torrential Rain, because the Torrential Rain is just taking up space. I don't think Torrential Rain is useful in any way. Uh, so we have that. And him. He's not particularly useful. We'll keep the Scorch. Keep the Revive. What else have we got? We've got quite a lot of... We've got Commander's Horn too, which is not bad. Honestly, I'm okay with this hand. I'm okay with this hand for now. Okay. So, I say we go strong straight away. I say we try and take the lead and maintain it. It's fine, we can revive that now. Yep, I say we skip. Trying to get an early lead, huh? Right, um... Uh... I'm gonna go with Yennefer, because I feel like I need to get at least something on the board that's not necessarily a high level, but... You know, you know what I mean? Yikes. Could have really done with that torrential right now! Um, right, we're gonna go with this. Still? Okay. Um, yeah, I probably misplayed that. I'm really not used to this deck, you know, it's weird. So we have a decoy, we have a revive. Um, what can we revive? We can't really revive anything good yet. Let's see, we go with a 10. We still have the commander's horn. Oh, we can decoy the spy, he's probably gonna revive. Right, cool. Okay. Pretty reviving that 10, yep. Okay, then we... Okay, we got our spy, finally. Okay. Should we have a look at this? 
Right, he's got a Biting Frost, Letho, and... Oh my god, he's got some pretty good cards, actually. Biting Frost is actually really bad. Um, like, for me, in this situation. Because it means these guys... I guess not really, actually. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Because I can revive all three of these now. See, it looks like he's got a massive lead on me, but you'll, you guys will see. We'll just revive all these guys. Because they are going to get set to one, which is very annoying, because he has the... Um... thing is, he, he might not use it, because it would actually kind of screw him over a bit. He probably will use it. Okay, well, we still have the double... Um. Okay, he's not going to use it, which means we can do this. Wait, do we want to... What are we going to get? If we double that row, we're going to get another 20. If we double that row, we're going to get another... We're going to get another <laughs> 24. Um, it's very similar, but I guess we get to double him too. I think we've won, haven't we? Boom. We won with a Nilfgaard deck, guys. And it's a very cobbled together Nilfgaard deck. Yay, I'm happy about that. Oh, we got a Siege Tower. That's kind of cool, I guess. You get a lot of Northern Realms cards in this game. Right, let's go and see Eliel. Anyway, we, uh, we, we've, we've had our fun with Gwen. I, I, I like that. That was fun. Is this... um? What? No, I don't. Actually, that'd be kind of cool. Imagine if you could say yes, and at that point you're followed by random Redanian guard. That'd be amazing. I think they should do that. I'm, I, I sense DLC material there, CD Projekt Red. Oh, I know you don't watch these videos. <laughs> okay, right. Um, okay, it's very weird. Let's go. Hello, Eliel. I'm a friend of Dandelions, looking for Eliel. You've come to the right spot. How might I be of service? Need something shortened? Patch your trousers, darn your socks. You, Eliel? Yes. Now pick your jaw up off the floor. Sorry, I thought... Thought Eliel was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Ah, oh, so it's that. Wait here. Okay, Eliel. Any better? So you're... Elihow. Did you and Dandelion... I mean... How did you two meet? I met him one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. And then... <laughs> Come on, Geralt. Let's get some, uh, some morbid curiosity with this one. <laughs> what happened? What do you think? We spoke. That's it. I'm not sure what you're getting at. But I should make one thing clear. Men don't interest me. Told him that as well. Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. When did you last see Dandelion? What do you and Dandelion talk about? Why do you dress that way? Ah, okay. Right, Eliel. Let's, let's have a little chat. Let's see what happened to Dandelion. Did visit your shop often? I tried many times to talk him into a decent doublet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button reaffixed or a hole patched. When did you last see him? Some time ago. He brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. Odd as requests go, I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. What about? What did you and Dandelion talk about? He asked about anything in particular? Hmm, let me think. Had an ordinary chat, really. Although, indeed, he did keep asking about Kalkstein. If Dandelion and oh. I had laid our cards on the table at the start, I might have suspected he had a history with the alchemist. He spoke like a lovesick beau. In fact, he desperately wished to meet with him. Kalkstein's in Novigrad? Wouldn't mind seeing him myself. You're too late, I fear. The witch hunters nabbed him recently. Burned him at the stake in Hierarch Square. But as he perished, ooh, the goings-on. Impressive. 
fiery beasts circled his pyre, then rose into the sky and exploded to form letters. Really? What did they spell? Radovid sucks flaccid cock. Oh, Colkstein. Do you guys remember from The Witcher 1? He was the guy who was in the sort of swamp in the tower. He was des he was obsessed with it for some reason. And he was the alchemist. Oh, do you guys remember that guy from The Witcher 1? Oh, he died. <laughs> How sad is that? Oh, well. All right, I guess that's the last thing. I know this is none of my business, but why do you... Why do I dress up? As a child. I dreamt of becoming a Doppler when I grew up. I became a tailor instead. Discovered clothing. Costumes can express all the complexities of one's personality. I'm a Redanian countess one day, a dockside thug the next. That is true freedom. Mm -hmm. Have you never thought to become someone else? Even for a moment? Must be horribly boring being a witcher all the time. I managed to stay interested. Thanks for your help, and uh, nice to meet you. I can help with much more. If you need new trousers or a vest, you know where to find me. Well, let's let's have a chat. Did you play Gwen? Come to look over my spring collection, perhaps. Oh, <gasps> they do. Glad to take a glance at what you got. Of course, please do. If anything chafes or pinches, I can alter it on the spot at no charge. Once I'm done, it'll feel like you're wearing nothing at all. Nothing at all. Oh, so we do actually have to... Uh, it's not not yet, really. We'll we'll do that at a later date. But, okay, well, we I was just checking, because some... It, just randomly merchants uh, of any kind seem to just well, have coin cards. Rounds of cards. Yeah, that's right. Thank you, Eliel. You are awesome. Let's uh, play some Gwen. Um, just checking if there's anything I could do, really. I don't think so. Okay. I mean, I, th I think my leader ability is pretty useless, I'm going to be honest. Well, we have our spy. That's like the first time ever. He's not very good. I think I only have one of him, so I don't know. Oh my god, I should... Oh, that's so annoying. Okay. Uh, well, we have two buffs. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Not a terrible hand. We saved it in the end. Um, boom, straight up, Litho, that's right. Oh, God, you serried me. Oh, they serried me, okay. Um, I'll tell you what. If they skip, I'm going to be so mad. Okay, it's fine. Oh, God damn it. No, I don't really want to give them the... How much is that going to go up by? He's going to get an. Oh, they're going to get an eight. So I could put on my ten afterwards still and win. No, I couldn't. Okay. Why, why am I so bad at maths? Oh my god, I hate myself. <laughs> I'm so bad at. <laughs> I'm so bad. I don't know why I'm so bad. I'm. You're, I'm normally okay at maths. You know, it's normally something that I I can do. What What did I not count in there? Oh, I didn't count the fact that his dandelion was a two. Okay. Um. Okay, so I'd have to play two cards to even break even here. I'm going to have to let them win. Okay. That's fine. I'm actually okay with that because we can revive the spy at some point now. But you know what? We're just going to we're just going to get the lead back straight up. We have to maintain this lead no matter what. Who is that? Siege engineer. Uh, we're gonna go with this into this. I'm gonna keep my cards fairly low. Oh, this is actually really good. I'm, I'm gonna try and get my scorch just ready. Oh my god, okay. I think I think we've got to go for it now. I feel like this is the best we're going to get. Boom. Because he could put down just sort of... They could put down like a 10 or something. Oh, I could have got another 6 out of that. 
Oh well. Um, can I revive anything else that's good? I guess if I buff the front row, um, or I could buff the back row. Go with that. Okay, these little archers that can revive are actually pretty good, to be honest. And now we have two commander's horns, so... I'm gonna do this. Boom. Okay. And we didn't even use our leader ability, mainly because of how useless it is. I quite like this Northgard deck. It's not terrible, you know? It's it, I'm sort of getting used to it now. Well, thank you for the game, Eliel. That was very good. Oh, Eli Hell. Is it Eli Hell or Eliel? I think it's Eli Philavandril! Oh, that's so cool! Oh, I love making my video on Philavandril. It was so fun. I sort of met, remember that one pretty well. Okay, so who's next? Marabella. We've been recording for 40 minutes, so I've just been playing Gwent and talking to these uh, various different, well, various different people, Dandelion. I guess, were his lovers? I don't know. I can't quite, I, I guess they're people he went and saw. Oh, Marabella, so she's the one that has the um, orphanage, right? Or school or something. Oh, hello. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. White Wolf, they call you? You stand accused of offending religious sentiment. We've orders to take you in for interrogation. Surrender your weapons. Um. No, no. Oh, my dead body. Told you we wouldn't fool him. Well, you're due a beating. It will just be more of a challenge. Remember the preacher who spoke of witches and witches? A man you humiliated before his faithful. He asked that we administer a sacrament on his behalf. Your last rites. Yeah, so, if you don't understand, basically they weren't ordered to take me in, they just wanted to um, punish me for what I did before to the... <laughs> Uh, that dude. Remember when I basically said that I, you know, have you ever fought uh, monsters and stuff? Ah, uh, god damn it. Okay, Igni is so unbelievably good now. Oh, a shirt. Well, that worked out, didn't it, guys? Ham See, that does just look like a ham. It doesn't look like a sandwich at all. <laughs> Guess maybe it just is saying the filling. Um, is there a beef sandwich in this game or anything like that? Oh, we already talked to the merchant down there. Anyway, where, where am I going? I'm heading to my marker for some reason. I don't know why. I'm going to head to meet uh, Marabella. Let's find her. Oh, yeah, I was on my way to meet Marabella, but then those guys ambushed me. We'll carry on. Little piggies. Uh, do you know what? I just... I, wait, there's a merchant there. I was going to say I want to explore through the streets a bit, but there was a merchant, and we can play Gwen or potentially buy things. Merchant! Welcome. What can I get the honourable gentleman? New poo lanes, perchance? I've not got a true pair, but they'll be the same size. He plays Gwen. Right, we want to get some cards, potentially, if he's got some. What don't I got? Something for everyone. Seek and you shall find. Cheap, too. Okay, what have you got? He's got some terrible saddlebags. A casket. Okay, this guy's got nothing. Should we sell him our, um, our roach's saddle? Well, a terrible saddle. Enjoy. Do we have any hides? I feel like, you know, I feel kind of bad. I feel like I'm taking this guy's money. But he's agreeing to the trades, you know? I'm sure. There you go. I think pig hide's actually worth quite a lot. Oh, maybe not. Give him our casket. We have a lot of stuff, don't we? That we just randomly picked up. Why did it skip the mugs? Okay, whatever. Right. Let's go in. I'm trying out my Nilf well, my Nilfgaard deck, so you know. Too, I'll be a happy man. Oh, everyone has a Gwent deck, you see? Just everyone. It's just everyone ha maybe a merchant is required to have one. Right, we'll go with that. I think we've got a ha you know, we got a good hang of this Nilfgaard deck now. We we're getting better with it. God damn it every time. Okay. Um Okay, we got Yennefer, that's fine. 
Why did I get rid of that? I should have got rid of this guy. That's a terrible card. Uh. Okay, I see. First of all, we just we go in strong. Right, I say we fill up the front row and then just... Oh, he's giving me Tala. Oh, we can decoy Tala. Tala's actually so good. He's a one and a spy. Oh, God damn it. Okay, I want to try and get ahead... Yikes. Okay. So we just need to be three ahead, right? Hmm. Do I do I really need to be three ahead or I can I could guess I could just skip. Uh we'll just skip. Okay. Tolering me straight away. Ah, uh, we'll go with that. We can revive all the um, tens and stuff, and we can revive Tala next round. Okay, we've got a little bit of a lead now. Um, what can we revive here? We can revive. I kind of want to keep all my revives. We'll play him. He's terrible. Use our ability, I guess. Three of his cards are terrible. The AI is actually so clever. Like, they know which cards are just not even worth playing. Guess we can go with that, right? They're really forcing out these cards for me. I don't want to play that. Ah, uh, fine. I'm skipping, even if I, I might lose here, but I have to. Ha ha! I knew they were baiting me! I knew it! I can't believe the AI does that, that is unbelievable. Ha, ah, now you have zero cards, that's right. Can't bait me. Hey, look, enjoy Tala. I'll give you one card. Oh, I'm, I just want to rub it in. I'm sorry, guys. I just I have to rub it in. That's right. We had so much stuff left. You know what? Revive him. Yeah, that's, I'm sorry, guys. I just I I've uh, no. That's that's enough. That's enough. He's already dead. That's all right, you merchant, trying to trying to bait me there. I knew what you were doing. Was this the guy that sent the? We got a rotten mangol or whatever. However you say that. There's a merchant here. No, I'm just trying to find a merchant. Apparently, there's. Oh, hello. This is a cool little merchant shop, isn't it? Greetings. It's a loan shark. What have you got to pawn, and how much do you need? What makes you think I need a loan? Taint a man that don't from time to time. And you don't look nor smell flush with coin. Just so happens I'm doing fine at the moment. Then maybe you'd like a look at what the less fortunate have forfeited. 100%. No, we'll do that first. Been a loan shark long? Aye, since I was just a little tyke. So you helped your dad, took it over when he died? Nah, my own father left me here in pawn and never did redeem me. <laughs> Jesus Christ, okay. Maybe some people stuff. have left some good Gwent cards. Oh, there's one thing. A self-help book. Of course we've got to buy that. I want to read this self-help book. Maybe it'll help us with current predicaments. Okay, for some reason it's not appearing. Um, where's our self-help book? Here it is. Change your life, a handbook. And so, I, Jacob the Rebel, once well known as a libertine and brawler extraordinaire from Nazir, with its myriad taverns to the wilds of Zeracania, or 
Is that Myriad? My, Myriad? Yeah. Used what strength I had left to pull my craft ashore. The raft I had strapped together out of an old boot, bits of strap, and a burst barrel had taken on so much water that two L's more and I'd have sunk to the bottom. Instead, I stood in dry land and that all was, and that was all that mattered. Um... I've completely lost where I am. Okay, wait, sorry. With not a living soul in sight and my stomach growling and uh, something mighty, I began to explore. The Isle was, ber was bereft of game, but offered fruit in great abundance. I ate so heartedly the juice poured the juice nearly poured out of my ears, and then I began to gather wood with which to build my shelter for the night and fuel the fire um, and fuel the fire that would have warned me. It was then I came upon the strange plant that would change my life. Till the end of my days, ignorant of its values at this time, I frivolously used it for my kindling. Yet as soon as it began to smolder and its sweet scent filled my nostrils, I felt light and the coastal breeze whisked away all my troubles. I, devo I devoted the subsequent years of my life searching to, uh, to researching this miraculous weed and its properties. As a result, I was able to develop a method that is likely to transform the life of any who puts it into practice. Here's how to begin. Well, I think these are all the uh, books I do for the Skelliger thing, right? Someone time. mentioned it way early in the playthrough. Right, you know what it's time for, guys. I like using the Nilfgaard deck. What I think it's fun. I like doing different things. I actually might try and pick up the actual Gwent game again on um, GOG. It might be fun just to play that here and there for a bit of fun. I, I genuinely, because I mean, I enjoy doing it so much, I'm kind of tired of thinking, maybe I will go play some Gwent. Bit of, bit of a sort of rest, you know what I mean? God damn it. Every time. Um, God, we don't have... We've got slim pickings, don't we? I guess we'll go with Letho first. Just start strong. Yikes. Um, go on, Vesemir. A Draug. Now, I don't want to play all my golds, but I, I do sort of feel like I don't want to play the guys that can actually be buffed. Oh, every time they have a villain Tretton Mirth. Tell you what I might do. I might, um... God damn this guy. I was gonna actually decoy, but you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this. Actually won the round. Uh, t -t 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 -t. So, hmm, we don't really have much. I might just force play him a bit. Okay, he's got two of the crones, which is not ideal for him. Does have a Garcane. Trying to work out what to do here, because I don't have a spy. I can't revive any of his spies, because I don't think he'll have any. What should I revive here? Maybe the sixes? Kind of want to avoid that front row. Tell you what. Just do this. I'm just going to try and bait them a bit. Damn. <laughs> now I know two of the remaining cards that this guy has are just crones. So I could revive again. But tell you what, I'm going to skip. Okay, so it's a griffin and some crones. I'm trying to work out what the best thing to do is here. I know also villain Tretonmirth. Does get an extra crone out of that. I might lose this, you know? Uh, what's the highest card I've got? I've got... Oh come on. Go that, into that, into him. Then we can put down two buffs, and Villain Treadmouth is not going to work for this guy. I think I might have won, you know? Maybe? Yeah, I think I've won by one. Oh my god, I won by one, okay. Amazing. 
cool. I'm glad that I won. That was cool. Hello Does this there. guy do anything else? Can I actually take out a loan? No, I don't want to, but it would have been funny. We got Ida. Is she a Nilfgaard card or is she a Northern Realms card? Or maybe, I don't think do they have, yeah, they do have neutral cards in default, Gwent. Sorry, I still haven't been to see Maribel. I've just been exploring Novigrad, getting some of the, uh, the various merchant stuff. I want to go to this merchant too. I'm just going to go to all the merchants. You know what? I think it's fun. Uh, I, th I feel like, you know, I've got to explore Novigrad a bit, right? Come closer. Don't be shy. You'll find I've everything you could ever need. I'm trying to talk to you. There you go. At your service. Sh oh, we can't play Gwen with this guy, but we can buy stuff. Uh, they got nothing. So Farewell, being fun. Should we go to this, uh, this barman? I don't know, I just like exploring Novigrad a bit, you know what I mean? I feel like I've, 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 I don't know, I just like it. It's fun. I might have already been in this place. I don't think I have, though. Oh my god, this is the, the bar from at some point later in the game. Incube, hello. No. Witcher. Mm, never heard of that. How about a card game? Well, we get to play cards with them. What did the cook make today? Nothing, apparently. Let's play some Gwent. Come on. I know, guys. I know I'm playing so much Gwent, but I'm enjoying it so much. Okay. For some diversion. A game of and the Gwent more games best. of Gwent I play, the less I get to play later on, I guess, because I'm sort of using them up. But uh, <laughs> you know, whatever. I'm not bothered. So that's what we got. We got the rotten thing. Not last game, the game before. I don't think we've got anything. What was Ida then? Was she in Northern Realms like I thought? Mm, I don't know. Ah, oh, no, she's... Oh, of course, oh, of course! She was the one that um, Francesca brought to the Lodge of Sorceresses meeting, right? Well, at least the first one they had. I think, was, it, was that Ida? Could be wrong. Might not be Ida. Might have got that wrong. Oh, well, I don't care. Right, okay, um... Oh, we got a pretty good hand, actually. K here! Oh, I haven't drawn him yet. I would like to try and chance the spy, so you know what. You know what, we got Yennefer. That's not bad. Eventually. Um... Go with K here. Ah, oh, let's have a look at him. <laughs> nice! Well, um, we'll definitely... Take that guy. Okay, that seems kind of pointless. Massive waste. We can also buff our front row, you know, dude. You know what? I just might. Oh no, I want to save it for those um, archers. Uh, why not? Um, I could. I don't know if I want to do this. I'm going to do it. Why not? Okay, they're getting really far ahead of me now. I don't have an eight. I could command this horn. I'm, I'm going to skip. Yep, I knew that. Oh well, we get to revive it. Okay, can we revive anything good? Not really. Um... That's annoying. Oh well, we'll do this. Okay, so first thing we're going to do, obviously, that into... Do we have another revive in here? No. Into that. I love this, this, this sort of micro spy game that goes on. Should we check what three cards they have? Torrential Rain. Okay, so we want to avoid using the back row too much. We'll play, we'll play our back row card now. Oh, there you go. What's in my 
graveyard at the moment. Uh, so we can revive two cards from the graveyard. Those two aren't particularly good, to be honest. Uh, we could revive K here and Vesemir, if necessary. So we do that. I'm actually going to put both these down and then Commander's Horn and see if there's a Scorch they have or something. Because then, it, you know, we can still revive them, you know, if absolutely necessary. Okay, maybe not. Then we revive two cards for the front row. We'll go with Vesemir. Um, and then we'll go for... Uh, what's the other guy? K here? K here. There you go. And then we can also double them if we want. Why not? Okay, there you go. Boom. Fun game. Okay, right, I'm going to go and see Marabella now. I'm sorry, guys. I've been messing around for so long. I've got a little while left. And also, you know, we're right... Oh, we got Philippa. That's pretty cool. Okay. Excuse me. I'm looking for Marabella. I am she. Wait outside. Class is in session. Can't wait. Fine, I'll wait. Yeah, we'll wait. I'll wait. It won't take long. It turns out he'll not come after all. Why not? A rat bit him, and he's caught a fever. Where'd he get bit? It hurt him much. Will he die? Don't die from rats, stupid. Yes, you do. Just the other day I saw a witch hunter tell a man, you rat, and then he killed him. Liar. That's enough. We're done for the day. Gather your things and go home. Okay. Okay, let's talk to Marabella now. Yes. What do you want? I know you saw Dandelion recently. Oh yes. Longest afternoon of my life. He read you his poems. No. He perused the illustrated guide to fungi. Hmm. Maybe no. Won't even try to guess why he wanted to do that. Mold. That was his interest. When his hand abandoned my knee to point at a figure of penicillium, I knew the fire between us had died. Permanently. See him later? He wrote a poem about you. Else, why not? Found a poem Dandelion wrote about you. Portrayed you as an unusually talented individual. Really? Did he mention my poetry? Horses have always fascinated me. I've always longed to extol their noble beauty. Did you see any of my work at Dandelions? Mere exercises, true, but I'd be curious to know what you thought of them. Uh, no, no. Didn't see any. Gee up! A snakely whip rose skyward. Gee haw! Crack! She reined the beast in. The stallion danced betwixt her thighs. Lava bathed its chinny chin chin. Sorry, don't know much about poetry. <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> See Dandelion after the fungus incident? No. I even considered granting him another chance. His heart of hearts is pure gold. He simply needs a bit more discipline in his life. But he never came back to see me. So I thought if it's done, it's done. Okay, well, thanks for the chat. Thanks for your help. Farewell. Okay, time to talk to Molly. Let's go and see how this goes. Whoa. Um, oh, I love I love going through Nova. I know I, I I'm gonna be saying this all the time, you know, guys. Just cause look at it. Look at this guy. He's playing a flute. This guy's playing a flute. And these kids are dancing to the guy playing the flute. It's actually kind of creepy now. I think about this situation that there's a bunch of kids hanging around some random guy playing a flute. Right. You know what? We'll leave that. It's not our responsibility. Um. Okay, I don't know where we are now. I just, I didn't honestly didn't think the door was going to open. Looks like we can loot the hell out of this place. Yeah. All of it. <laughs> oh, God, we can go up really high. This reminds me of some of those houses in the, um... What was it called? The sort of the temple quarter in Vizima. You know, the ones that you just kind of go into and there's nothing in there apart from just the odd sack. Uh, that'll do... I think that's everything, right? Okay, let's go with that. Let's go with that. Um, right. I'm gonna. Uh, you know what? I'm fine. I think that's it. I think that's it. 
Right. There is a merchant, but I think it's the merchant we talked to. So, let's go and head to see Molly. She's up here, apparently. Oh! Oh, we're about to get to the, um... Oh, I know what we're about to do. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, I actually can't wait. I, d I completely forgot what's about to happen. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. I love how they're all chatting and stuff. So cool. Oh, yeah, I wonder how our beard's grown. Not much. That's the answer. I'm making a save here. This baronet's love of Let's Villa. Shouldn't interest you. The baroness don't mingle with just anyone. Don't worry. I'm here to see your chambermaid, Molly. Out of the way. Baroness is right now. Be gone. Geralt of Rivia at my doorstep? Surely this is no chance encounter? Greetings, Baroness. Greetings, General. You're right. I'm here for a reason. There's no mistaking you. But for etiquette's sake, Mary Louisa Lavalette, an Imperial General and a Witcher meet. And know each other. Surprising. We met before, met Voorhees in Vizima. So, if you guys don't remember, we actually met Baroness Lavalette in The Witcher 2, in the prologue at the start. And we actually met her son, Arian Lavalette. And um, you can actually have a choice where you either kill him or let him live. But when we played The Witcher 2, we let him live. And then he helped us escape from prison. It was pretty cool. But actually, interestingly, at this bit in The Witcher 3, if you'd killed him in The Witcher 2, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. I think the Baroness just sort of gets quite annoyed that you're here and then just goes back inside and says that she doesn't want to go to the races. Um, but because we saved her son, or at least we opted not to kill him, he, he did eventually die because he blew himself up by trying to escape. But because we saved him, uh, or didn't let him die, as I said, then she's cool with us, which I think is so cool because it carries over from a decision we made in the previous game, and I just love it. Um, I forgot that we were coming so close to this bit. And also, we get to meet Voorhees again. I love Voorhees. I think he's cool. So I don't think I should necessarily say where I met him, but... Should I just sort of be quite, you know, sort of, you know, let's, let's hide before. it a bit. And how? Imagine this, Louisa. The Emperor desired a chat with the Witcher. I, too, was fortunate enough to meet him then. Hmm. So Geralt of Rivia now works for Emperor Emir. Interesting. Has Var Emery sent you to rid Novigrad of monsters? Looking for a girl named Molly. Heard she works here. My maid servant. I'm afraid she's currently at the home of my dear friend, Patricia Vagelbud. Perhaps Geralt could accompany us. He could speak with Molly at the races. Is that something you'd consider, Witcher? Care to partake of some sophisticated diversion? If I may, way to the Vagelbuds, happy to go? Oh, of course we'll go with them. Well, if Molly will be there. On our way, then. We've arrived. My father owned a similar estate in Bruges. As a young girl, I'd travel there often to ride. Shall we look at the horses? Do you like horses, Geralt? I guess so. Called every horse I've had Roach. The Grey Mare is Cantarella, sired by Cahir, the champion from Vol. Grey's a nice color for horses, too. My coin's on the Black Stallion, Nemrod, purest Nilfgaardian stock. Surprised he didn't salute you, General. <laughs> Jesus. Know much about the others? Oh, why not? Know anything about the Chestnut or the Bay? The Chestnut is Thunderbolt, a pure blood Retanian, gallant steed, but too headstrong for my taste, difficult to control. And the Bay hails from Zericania. Lord de Volta acquired him recently. I know little about him, though Zericanians are reputed to have incredible stamina. 
Oh, I like the idea of the Zerikanian. Um, we'll say that. Um, but is Molly a horse? Pardon? I did come here to see Molly after all. Patience, Witcher. She ought to arrive soon. I asked Molly to join us as soon as she was done with her chores. She shouldn't be long now. All depends what you asked her to do, my lady. But I don't really have a choice. I'll wait. Know it all about horses. Seem to know your horses. No is not the word. Morvran's a true expert. I find them to be far more honest than men. Must say, I'm curious how you manage in the saddle, Witcher. Mostly just try to stay in it. What would you say to a little race? Not what I came here for. Don't make me beg, Witcher. Tell you what, win, and I shall give you my finest saddle. Made in Nilfgaard proper of beautifully tanned leather. Let's race. <laughs> yep, yep, let's do it. <laughs> Wouldn't mind seeing if your knowledge of horses translates into riding skills. Well said. So, which steed do you choose, Witcher? I'm gonna go for the Zarakanian. That one. Heard tales of Zarakanian horses. I'll ride the bay. I'll not ride with you, but I shall bet on a steed. Nemrod will win, no matter the rider. Cantarella for me, then. I see no point in delaying this. Let's begin. Oh, the music. This music, guys, cloak and dagger. Right, Zerikanian is time. Apparently, I have better stamina. I don't know. I just know stamina is basically the only thing that really matters. Um, At least, you know, in The Witcher, not in real horse racing. I imagine stamina is a big part of it, but speed will be a big part too. Um, I don't know much about horses, guys. I'm not going to claim I do. <laughs> I just... I don't know. I like, I like horses, though. I'm pretty sure everyone does that. They're really cool. Um, when I walk my dog, I go past quite a few horses and I always say hello. Yeah, I'm just blocking you for a second while I restore stamina. Cheers. Right. Because you seem to have infinite stamina and I, and I have, like, none. I am made of amazingness, okay? That's right. That's right. Are we almost done with the race? I feel like we're getting there. Running very low on stamina. We won! What a thrill! A beautiful victory! Thanks. For one for whom every horse is a roach, you carry yourself exquisitely in the saddle. My congratulations. That is yours. Now, could I talk to your chambermaid, milady? Ah, oh, yes, Molly. That is why you came here, after all. The portly young woman. That's her. Speak to her. And you must find us when you're ready to return to Novigrad. We'd be delighted to join you for the journey. Oh, I like Morvran, even though I clearly blocked him and, you know, stayed in front of him and basically kind of cheated to win. He still was cool with it. And he, he congratulated me on being amazing. I'm joking now. But <laughs> obviously, in the game, it's meant to be that you're just a better rider. But... Um, okay, Molly, let's chat. Oh, hey, Morvran. I'm Molly, my lord. Wish to see me? Call me Geralt. Geralt? That Geralt? The one Dandelion's rescued time and time again? Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> We've rescued him in, like, every single game and throughout the books. Always, you know what? I'm not letting Dandelion get over this. I'm, I'm not. I have to That's call right. him out on it. Except it's the other way around. I'm always saving him. Mean to say it weren't Dandelion saved you in Flotsam by severing your noose with an arrow from an hundred paces? What? Dandelion couldn't... <sighs> Never mind. Any idea where our master archer might be at the moment? No. Sadly, I haven't got a clue. We've not seen each other in ages. The Baroness don't approve of our acquaintance. Says dandelions are good for nothing layabout. Can you imagine? But. <laughs> or maybe his sister could help you. Such a nice girl. <laughs> you do realize dandelion doesn't have a sister? Sure he does. Saw him himself. Funny, she don't look like him at all. Blonde, for starters. Maybe they're different fathers. Mm-hmm. 
different mothers, too. Maybe. But you could see he cares for her, looks after her, the way he carried her packages and... Know where I can find her, Dandelion's sister? I know. Whenever I ask Dandelion when we visit her, he'd grow all quiet and then change the subject. <laughs> it's kind of funny because Dandelion does actually have blonde hair in the books, so, you know, they could be related. No, Any joking. chance you remember your last conversation with Dandelion? Of course. He came to borrow some coin for a barge. What? Why do you need a barge? To take me on a romantic cruise of the canals by the light of the moon. Said there'd be strawberries and that wine with the bubbles, and he'd sing me arias. But well, I've not seen him since. I like the fact uh, as well about how he told her that he saved us from being hung in Flotsam when it was, you know, obviously the other way around. But I, I, I feel like it's cool because it's a little reference. Um, tell you what, we'll, we'll end this conversation. I'll talk to you in a minute. Thanks, Molly. Wait, before you go, I've got a request. Dandelion told me once he'd show me his etchings, but he never did. I'd so like to see him. Won't be too hard to convince him. He loves showing off those etchings to anyone he can. Oh, that's wonderful! Thanks, and good luck to you on your search. Thank you. Right then. Well, that was fun. Level 15. Awesome. Three points. What? We have points? I didn't even realize we had a single point. Oh, we have a space now. I kind of want to get some potion slots, you know? Hmm. That's actually pretty cool. That's a cool ability, but we need more in this to even get that. So that's oils times slowed while aiming bombs. That's actually fairly useful. Every known level one alchemical formula increases maximum toxicity by one. Uh, if toxicity is above zero, time automatically slows on enemies. I don't know. What that is. Uh, every known level one alchemical formula increases maximum toxicity by one. That's actually pretty good. I'm gonna get that. I know, we probably shouldn't use all those points. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to do that, and then we're going to do that, and then we're going to do that. And that increases our vitality too, so. Awesome. You guys might think that's a waste, but I don't. I think we can actually get a quest here while I'm here, so I'm just going to quickly... Um... Okay. Can we get a quest here? I thought there was like a some sort of dwarf or something we could talk to. Okay, fine. Um, okay. Well, I guess we'll go and return to Novigrad with Voorhees. Maybe we get the quest at a later point. I think it's the Dwarven Dilemma one or something like that. C come on, let me out. Come on, let me out. Come on. Come on. Okay, we're going to have to go around the, the long way. Yeah, that's right. We did it. Uh, who are we talking to? Uh, Morvron. Geralt, there you are. Shall we return together? Yeah, I'd like to go back. Thanks, I head back on my own. Yeah, let's do it. We'll go together. Gladly. It's a long way to Novigrad. Road ought to seem shorter with some company. I'd say the same. Well then, let's go. And here we are. Thank you for your company. Likewise. See ya. It was awesome to see Morvran. I was like, let's ah, have a chat. Geralt. What can I do for you? Have we already done all the dialogue with this guy? Yeah, well, why not? We'll... Big changes afoot in the Empire. You've no notion? The Emperor summoned you. He only ever summons with reason. It's clear he seeks his daughter. You know a lot. I must. I am my father's son. What's your father got to do with this? Um, he is close to the Emperor. And knows the opposition. Knows they press for abdication. Ceding the throne to Cyrilla, it's the best the Emperor can do. But, as is known, an Empress needs an Emperor at her side. My father will ensure the... Right man is chosen. 
Hmm. Farewell. Right. Well, more friend. I just want to set it to daytime because I can't really see anything. I love Morvran, I think he's such a cool character. Just this morning, my Greta they came back from the market with news. Okay, let's, sorry, I'm just like listening to that. Well, we've got to see Rosa now, and that's the end of the Dandelion's various girl thing. Is here where we're going? Yeah, okay. What do you want? I'm the new swordplay instructor. I'm looking for Rose of Artra. That one. Want to see Rose of Artra? Oh, mate! If you only knew what I want, Miss Rosa don't see just anybody. I'm Geralt of Rivia, a Witcher. Soon as Miss Rosa turns into a Striker, I'm sure her papa will send for you. But she's not showing any symptoms yet, so I venture you're not needed. On your way now. Well, well, we'll find a way into the villa then. That's right. Yeah, we'll go round. What is this? It's the great sun getting hung, I guess? Right, I think it's around this way, right? There's a guy here. Oh, it, it's okay, good, sir. Alright. Where are we headed? We gotta get- we gotta try- Oh, no, that was- oh my god, that was the worst. Isn't there- can't we lose something here? Ah, oh, there you go, yeah. Is that- I swear there's more. You know what, we're gonna try and do this. Okay. Just checking if there's anything. Uh, this is the worst. I think there's a cave around here, right? Is there a cave? Am I thinking of, a, thinking of the right thing? Yeah, there it is. So I actually want to go in here just briefly. Just because I want to try and get some stuff. Someone placed an illusion here. That's right, Water Hag. This is unbelievable. Oh. Oh, nearly got me with some mud there. Oh. Well, I'm not gonna let that happen. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's have a quick, quick loot. Uh, venom extract. Oh, got that. Okay. Uh, we have an illusion. Okay, interesting. There's really nothing more to this place. That was like a whole little hidden... The candle was lit. That's kind of strange. I don't know if this is the way... I don't think this is the way into the Varatra thing even, but I um, I just want to loot around here anyway, just in case, you know? Great. Why don't we pull out our sword then? I'm kind of terrified about what's going to happen. I'm not trying to loot or anything, I'm just trying- Sorry, I'm not trying to- Alright, so we made it to the bits. Okay. I'm just trying- Sorry, I'm not trying to, um... Get through the, the game, or, or skip things. I just want to, um, loot this place so I don't have to a, a later date, you know what I mean? Also means I've explored everywhere, you know what I mean? We get through here? Nope. Uh, it looks like we can go up this way. What's up there? Oh, well, that was useful. Um, uh, I don't know which way to go, to be honest, guys. I think it's... No, sorry, this way, this way. Right, we'll go and see um, the Vartra girl. Oh, yeah, that's the Drowner. And then we will... Yeah, we'll see what happens after that. Probably might stop it after seeing Vartra girl, because... I actually might go and find the Arrakis first, like after this, and then stop. Because I would just like to get that done. You fancy men like me, whole town's going on about it. So no point playing hard to get, sugar puss. It's Lady Varatra to you. 
And I'd advise you to sod off, sugar puss, before I report this to Papa. Right. Just want to check if there's anything we can grab while, you know, while we're out here. A lot of fountains and stuff. Oh, there's a book. Oh, we already have that. Radovid five, Radovid the fifth. Radovid five, Radovid the fifth, the stern. Radovid fifth, the stern. I don't know. Hey. Who are you? Why are you here? Answer this instant, or I'll summon the guards. Ah, sorry to sneak in, miss. I'm Geralt, a friend of the Bard Dandelion. <gasps> Geralt of Rivia? The famed Witcher of the Ballads? What are you doing here, Vagrant? How'd you get in? I, I let no one in the front, my lady. I swear it on the great sun. Not a word. I'll handle this. Hold your tongue, sir. This... This is Frederick Francis de Bergerac. My new swordplay instructor, correct? Show him to the training room. I shall join him shortly. But my lady, he's a witcher. Said so himself, back by the gates. Captain, do you truly believe Rosa Par Artra would train with random clods calling themselves swordmasters? No. The Var Artras demand the very best. Thus, we've hired a witcher. Take him to the training room. Now. As you say, miss. That's right. <laughs> Don't you realize what you've got yourself into? Hope so too. Miss Rose has got a downright beastly temper. Shows no mercy once she grips a sword. Well, me neither. <laughs> Should have seen my fist fights. See how people have asked me to throw them. Um, never. Sick, sick of it all. Grab a wooden one. Take care not to hurt the little miss. The ambassador, follow me. Will do. Why have you got a knife out? Far Atra Captain Guard. There she is. You're my new instructor. Well, well, Papa clearly went out of his way this time. Wood, to start with. I must know your worth. I love the Nilfgaard music. What am I actually wearing right now? Oh, I don't know. Because I like the um, this sort of armor. I'm really sorry, this feels horrible. Beating someone with a wooden stick for some reason feels much worse than a metal stick. <laughs> well, a sharpened metal stick. It's just, it's because it's like almost a blunt object, isn't it? Why bother with two swords when you can barely handle one? You haven't hit me once! Oh, I can actually use the lock-on, finally. It's been a long time since it's even been worth doing that. Stop and fight. What are you talking about? Okay, right. Go on, carry on. Ah! Okay, that was really quick. Okay, she hit me once. Well fought. You're much better than the last one. I'm not actually your swordplay instructor. Really? And who are you? And how on earth did you get in? Didn't we just talk? Yeah, what's that? Am I imagining things? Didn't we just have this conversation in the garden? The garden? Yes, yes. In the garden. So, what was it you said? Why are you here? You're not bad with a sword. Yeah, I guess why not? We're Before nice. Before I ask, gotta admit, you do pretty well with a sword. One pointer. Don't expose your left flank when you dodge. Oh, I know. Terrible habit. Can't seem to get rid of it. I'd hope to find someone in Novigrad who could help me to do so. But... Don't you dare try to dazzle me with advice. Already admitted you're not here to give me lessons. 
Need to ask about Dandelion. Came to ask about your rhetoric tutor, Dandelion. Rhetoric tutor? Good one. That is why Papa hired him, but not at all what the bard had in mind. He mostly played his lute and sang for us. I believe he thought he was wooing. Mean he wasn't? But you had some sort of relationship? If you call him chasing after me a relationship. Even so, there was nothing between us. Seems my sisters had a bit of fun at our expense. But enough chatter. Stand and fight. I demand a rematch. Okay, let's go then. I haven't done anything yet. Come on. Is that way too early. Well, I'll just keep on doing this, I guess. Just wait till she, uh... Okay. Okay, almost there. What are you talking about? You didn't even... Okay. Okay, oh, she got me... Oh my god, that was... Horrible. It's like they get one hit, then it, like, stuns you massively. Ugh. That's enough of that. God, there's so much blood everywhere. Damn it. Sorry. Well, if you're not an instructor, you should certainly be one. Fancy giving me a few private lessons? Gladly. Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, my beard's coming in. I rightly refuse a request from a lady. What are you two lovebirds whispering about? You asked about my relationship with Dandelion? Well, here's the mix-up's mastermind. Edna Va'atra, the greatest mischief maker north or south of the Yoruga. Hang on. So it was you in the garden. <laughs> of course it was me. Why, did Rosa try to play you for a fool? Don't be mad. We've done this since we were children. People have always mistaken us for one another. I mean, you are twins. <laughs> uh, can you explain what this is about? Uh, dandelion have trouble? Yeah, I'm guessing. Take it, Dandelion did too. On occasion, yes. But then Rosa would quickly set him straight. If you'd shut your catty mouth for a moment, dear little sister, I could explain. Edna sent Dandelion some love letters. She signed my name. Conceited as he is, naturally he fell for it. I was left to repel the aging bard's advances. Rosa, I had the best of intentions, you know that. I felt you needed help taking the first step. You blushed every time he sang a ballad. He'll next sing at your funeral if you don't stop it right now. Easy, ladies. Quiet. Uh, Calm down, ladies. No poets worth two sisters nipping at each other's throats. Especially not this one. Listen, I just want to know one thing. Either of you seen Dandelion lately? Edna might have. I certainly have not. My dear sister, I would never spend time alone with a man for whom you burn with a secret passion. Burn with passion? For one who incessantly praises another woman's talents? Afraid I've more sense than that. Dandelion acts strangely? Lately? Dandelion act any different lately? Notice anything strange? Strange? Not really. It's no use, Geralt. She's so enamored, she'd hardly notice if he turned into a werewolf. Edna, what? You needn't pretend he followed convention. Remember when he took us to the cemetery? Rhetoric lessons in a cemetery. Unusual even for Dandelion. We set out to visit the graves of celebrated Oxenford professors. He ended up quizzing us about Margrave Henkel. Who? Eccentric old coot. Died recently. He'd apparently been an important and generous patron of the arts as a young man. Interested in politics. Bet sophisticated young ladies like you know a bunch about politics. We've picked up a few things. What would you like to know? Wonder how the war's going. Emperor and his cohorts must be ecstatic. Wonder how the war's going. Any outcome looming? Papa says much depends on Radovid and on who captures Novigrad first. What's Novigrad got to do with it? Free city. Never taken sides. Always stayed out of conflicts. 
Oh, even children know Novigrad's home to the world's largest fleet. And they say the city's treasury is bursting with enough to equip two armies. Hmm. Emperor continuing to push north. Courtiers must be ecstatic. His confidants must be. But Papa says that's not likely to last much longer. Why not? Papa says the war is disrupting trade, and people are tired of financing the Emperor's adventures. Oh. Changing subjects. Dandelion, whose talents did he praise? Who Dandelion sing about? Know anything about her? I believe she's a poetess, or Trebaritz. Very skilled and exceptionally talented, of course. This woman. Not a local, right? Hmm. I seem to remember him praising her melodious Kaviri accent. Makes sense. He referred to her as Kalonetta a few times. Bizarre names are common in Kavir. Gotta ask Zoltan about this Kalonetta. I should go. Been a pleasure, but I've got stuff to take care of. Exceedingly nice to meet you. Please come again. Well, can I expect any more lessons in future? Sure. Awfully convincing, miss. Wonder where you learned it. Name the time and place. How's here tomorrow? Same time as today. See you then. See you, Master Witcher. Well, that was fun. Um, I'm just gonna. I think I saw a chest back here. Awesome. Fencing lessons. So we have a new quest. So we have a butler. Okay, cool. Um, and uh, yeah, we got to consult with Zoltan, and then I think we end Broken Flowers. And I've only done one mission today. Jesus Christ. Okay, I might go and get this Arrakis venom because then at least I've done that. Well, I guess I've done a lot of Gwen. And I've met a lot of merchants. I've gone around to Novigrad a bit more. Ugh, God. I don't mean to loot all this terror. Oh, jeez. What are you doing? I'm trying to work out if I can loot everything in this whole house. What are you doing? Um, we can go upstairs. I just want to make sure I get everything. We got a mug. This is the ambassador of Nilfgaard's house. Well, the ambassador of Novigrad. Uh, I always want to check if there's dimeritium or something, because especially in key areas like this, you know what I mean? Like places that you have to go based on the game. Got some silver there, that's not bad. Well, silver something. Um, that's upstairs done. We have some dolls, a mug. It's alright, we can just sell this stuff to a merchant at some point, you know what I mean? We, we, I need to sell some of these books, actually. Because I, I actually don't need any of the books I have, apart from the quest books. Because I'm pretty sure it just counts as you having read them, if you've, um... Oh, a diplomatic report. To His Imperial Majesty Amir Var Emreis, uh, Emperor of Nilfgaard, since the last time of my last report, since the time of my last report, remarkably swift progress has been made and sentiment in the city has been crystallized, has crystallized. If anyone previously believed the ongoing war did not concern the free city, not a single resident now doubts the further course of this conflict will be determined within its walls. Our agents have confirmed earlier reports containing that King Radovid has, has important plans for Novigrad, and lately he, we have observed an increase in his agents' activity as well, as the spread for, of his propaganda. His prime objective seems to be seizure of the wealth held by the Church of the Eternal Fire. Yet, yet through Hierarch Kemmelfart officially rules the city. Yet, though Hierarch Kemmelfart officially rules the city, true power is in the hands of the local crime lords. I recommend the Emperor's agents focus further activity in that direction. Henry Var Atra, by decree of his Imperial Majesty, Ambassador of the Emperor Empire of Novgorod and the Free City of Novgorod. And then you guys can read this if you want to. Cool. Well, it's kind of interesting because there's a lot of this stuff that you just kind of play through the game and, you know, you just sort of, it just happens. You know what I mean? Like, God, that's horrible. Oh, my God. Imagine voice acting for that. Yeah, can you sound like you're getting, um, like, like a dog that's just been left in a car for about six hours? 
Alright, sorry. Alright. Okay, so, we gotta consult with Zoltan. We wanna get this Arrakis Venom. I think I might go and... I don't know, I think I might go and... I might go and try and get this Arrakis Venom first. Yeah, I'll go and get the, the Arrakis Venom first. And then I will head back to Zoltan, and then I'll end today's part. Broken Flowers is actually a pretty big quest, to be fair. There's a lot that happens in it. You know, you go and do races, you go and do loads of other stuff. Um, and also, I've done a lot of other things today. And I've explored Novigrad. I've had a cool time. I, I've, I think this is fun. I'm trying to cut down the parts and not make them quite as long, but I don't know how that's going to work out, to be honest. Right, let's have a look. So, apparently, someone said there was one south of Crookback Bog. Ish. I got no idea. That's very vague. Now I think about it. Um, and also north of Oxenfur. I don't really want to go back to Crookback Bog. Okay, so I think there is an Arrakis around this sort of area. You know, Witcher. Um, I'm gonna try and find it. See what happens. Get some. I think it might have been Celandine. Not sure. It was a yellow plant. Celandine white. I think it's yellow. I think there's some. There's an Arrakis around here. Oh, I hear it. Hang on. Right, where's this Arrakis? There it is! That looks like an Arrakis! <gasps> Boom. Okay. Okay. Arrakis Venom! <laughs> oh, oh. oh my god, that was almost straight away. We, Oh my god, that, I think it doesn't drop it every time. Oh my god, that's amazing. And we've never been to this logger's hut before. Okay, cool. Um, right, let's just walk past him. Guys, we got some Arrakis Venom. We got some Arrakis Venom. That's amazing. Okay, I'm happy. Oh my god. So they died, and then... And then he decided to... Oh, okay. Well, this place is certainly not the nicest place in the world, is it? Oof. Oh, my God. Right, okay. Well, I'm still happy about the Arrakis Venom. Can we make it now? <gasps> Enhanced Tawny Owl. Boom. And there it is, guys. We have the Enhanced Tawny Owl. Let's go and consult with Zoltan in today's part. Oh my god, I can't believe that's so amazing. Zoltan time, let's, let's talk to him. Oh. Ooh, an owl. Interesting. Ah, you're back! You met Poppy? She ought to start talking any day now. Where'd you get her? She's an owl, not a parrot. <laughs> Why not? That field marshal dude is replacement? The marshal was a parrot, you do remember, right? Where'd you get her? At auction. Some mage's estate went under the hammer. Witch hunters and the eternal fire joined forces, staked out his place and rounded the sorry sap up. Put his things up for sale. Happened to be passing by and saw this out. Came with her own cage. How could you resist? Could be. It weren't possible. Ah, but dandelions, what matters now. <laughs> so, how'd you do? Learn much? I think I got something. You first. Uh, yeah, why not? Women on my list hadn't seen dandelion in a while. All claimed he had been acting strange. Also mentioned he'd been seeing someone else. Thing is, mystery woman wasn't on my list. What's she supposedly like, this lass? Blonde, from Kovir. A Troberitz, apparently, named Kalanetta or something like that. <laughs> that makes it clear as crystal. It's Priscilla. Aye. Must be her. Who's Priscilla? Why wasn't she on the list? Um, yeah, why not? Why wasn't she on the list? Mm, this Priscilla wasn't like the others. I think Dandelion more than fancied her. I think it was fervor. He lusts after every other woman he meets. 
how can I explain? Who does Dandelion love most? Himself. Exactly. And she's his mirror image. That's big news, doubt it. <laughs> yeah. What can I say? Could be he finally met his match. She's his match, all right. Maybe more. The laddie's head's on fire. Lassie's got him whirling. All right. Guess we gotta talk to her. Priscilla works for the Mummers Troop. Reynard and the Foxen. Whenever they're in town, she performs nightly at the Kingfisher. You mean we've been sentenced to an evening of poetry? Must you always? This will be true poetry, Geralt. You'll see. Wait, I wanna. What did Zoltan find out? Zoltan? Get out! Oh my god, we can play Gwent with him now! <gasps> Guys, we can play Gwent with Zoltan! Oh, we'll talk about these things first. Saw burning pyres when I arrived in Novigrad. Yes. Felicia Cori, a sorceress that was. The crowd came for the other one that day. A Doppler. Crafty wee bugger who'd spent years masquerading as Chappelle, commander of the Temple Guard. It was Caleb Menge who exposed him, executed him, and promptly took his post. Met that Doppler years ago, just after he'd assumed Chappelle's identity and form. Oh, I remember Wasn't that. I surprised when the Church of the Eternal Fire turned Toller into freaks. Opened up a bit to magic and mages. Ah, well, that's all changed now. Every mage who came here seeking refuge is now caught in a trap. That was in the books, wasn't it? And it was that was such a cool story. Novigrad doesn't seem like a safe place anymore. What's keeping you here? I was keen on starting my own enterprise, but nothing came of it. Nevertheless, I took on some debt. Got to pay it back now. I'd like to blame it on the war or human treachery, but the truth is, I've got my own thick skull to blame. Rather not dwell on it, Geralt, if you don't mind. Let's play some Gwent. Round of Gwent. I never refuse. Then let's play. Let's play. So, do we want to go for our Nilfgaard deck? Because this is an actual proper game, and oh my god, we got Philip. Yeah, I think we got to we got to use Philip, right? Take out Sabrina. Yeah, we'll give it a go. It's been a while since we used this deck, though. We haven't used it at all today. Uh, get rid of Kira. I think it was Kira. Um, okay. Death Mold. Death Mold. I'll get rid of him. Not got the best hand. Can I be honest? Could have been better. Got two spies, though. I guess you can't complain. Um. God, if he has a scorch, I'm gonna be so mad. Now it's time to spy him. Um, so we spy again. Um... Okay. Hmm. So I want to try and get fairly high, not too high though. Go with that. Right, obviously. Do that. Do that. We have to try and get high really, really quickly. What have we got here? We got... Okay. This is quite difficult. We can put the four down, I guess. And then the other four. Okay. Siegfried, I guess? Yeah, why not? We'll go with Siegfried. What 
we got here? I think I know what I want to revive, but... Go with that. What have we got now? God damn it. Let me look at my... So we go, Roach. I can't really use the Scorch right now. I may as well use my Scorch now, right? I don't really ha I sort of have to revive if I don't. You know what? You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to do that, just because I, I can sort of play that at some point. You never know. Okay. Get rid of that. I think this should be the killing move. That into that. Oh! Boom, and then backwards buff. Okay, we won. Seems I won. Great fucking shock, given your frankly amateur dick. Here, take this card. You need it. You can do well to fix your collection. It's downright porous. Don't need you bringing the shame a good dandelion for that. You might skim something off your mate, Roach. He's said to have good cards, that one. Oof. God, that was... Dick's better than yours, Zoltan. Screw you! Asshole. <laughs> that was so mean. You no, know, he was just upset that I beat him, I think. The faculty of Oxford University. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I've already done that. Okay, well, I'm going to stop today's Witcher part there, guys. I think it's so cool that we're now actually ahead of the Witcher 2 in parts. I think we've probably been recording collectively longer than the Witcher 1 as well, because most of those parts were just half an hour, and almost every part of my Witcher 3 has been, like, between an hour and a half and two hours. So, you know, definitely definitely a much bigger game. It might, honestly, so far my Witcher 3 playthrough might be longer than my Witcher 1 and 2 playthroughs combined. I'm not... Y y don't quote me on that, but it... It, it's getting there, isn't it? It's got to be getting there now. As always, guys, if you want to see these parts continue and just want to support me and stuff, I'd really appreciate you liking it, as that's really, really kind. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Reddit, Discord, I don't know. I know you can't really follow me on Reddit, but you know what I mean. Just join them and stuff. I really appreciate you guys doing all that stuff. I've been posting some stuff on Twitter more recently, like I put some videos on my dog on there recently, actually. That was quite fun. So yeah, be sure to go and follow me on there. That'd be really cool. As always, a big thank you to the Patreon pledges. You guys are honestly amazing and you, you just help out the channel so much. And I'm glad to put all your names at the end of these videos. So I'm just going to let the video play out with these awesome people. And I will see all of you in the next Witcher part or Witcher lore video. It depends what you guys all decide to watch. So yeah, I hope you've all enjoyed today's video anyway. Have an awesome rest of the week. Yeah, no. Alpha.